Welcome back to Shaven Stuff. If a creepy looking guy kind of looks a little bit like a vampire comes up to you and says, take the cane. What do you even do? What do you do? I guess you just take the cane. Otherwise, you might die. All right, I'm going to grab it. Oh, we got a spooky themed place here. This is cool. So this is a Halloween update for Shaven Stuff. We get to shave this guy's head. This vampire looking Dracula chap. Oh my god, there's a zombie hand there. There's a zombie. He's waving. Hey, what's up? When did you die? Alrighty, dude. You got some fangs in there, bro? I can't tell. Alright, I'm gonna give this guy the vampire special. Let's go. Let's put him down like this. Let's give him, like, some kind of, like, you know, famous vampire. I'm gonna go with a bubble shape. Here we go. Let's just... Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Let's make this nice and tall. It looks like this guy's got a bit of a tumor growing out of his head at the moment, but that's fine. That's all good, man. We're gonna make this guy look like the coolest vampire in wherever vampires come from. Space? <laughs> Alien vampires. It's a good script for a movie. All right, there we go. Bro is looking pretty awesome. Kind of looks a little bit like a Goomba. Not gonna lie. All right, let's throw that up there. Hey, hey, what's up, champ? Hey, what's up? What's up? Oh, we don't want to make him mad. <laughs> okay, let's give him a tattoo. So maybe we'll go with some flames. Just some sick flames, like maybe on his neck or something like that. You know what I mean? Just because this guy's neck is like really cool. Let's go ahead and just tattoo that on there like this. Hey, I can't tattoo down this way. Alrighty, bro. Nice one. Okay, give it a little bit of a squeegee. And there we go. Guy's got a bit of fire going on his neck. Okay. Let's shape this hair a bit better. I'm gonna get the old five millimeter trimmers and we're just gonna go like this just to make it a little bit more flat on the top. All right, cool. And at the back as well. Okay, let's get some, uh, let's get some gray. Give him just some gray streaks. <laughs> and like just black down the middle, just like this. Oh yeah, sick. Yeah, this guy is looking good, man. He looks like he got run over by like, you know, some kind of machine or something. Some like roadwork machine. All right. We're finished, champ. Get out of here, Dracula man. He loves it. Bangs and bats. Okay, that's a weird expression. Whoa, bro, take the bone. Okay, it's a werewolf. It's a werewolf. What do, what do I even do with this guy? Let's take those off. Let's see those beautiful pearly reds. Hey, werewolf. Oh, can we shave his arms? It's got a bit of, you know, Robin Williams arm hair going on at the moment. It's a little bit long. Oh, let's shave this guy. Let's turn him from werewolf to... I have no idea. Dolphin? Dolphin man? <laughs> Wait, where beast? Where man? There we go. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. He kind of looks a little bit like a gargoyle now. All right, shave the rest of that. I just tried to shave his nose. Okay, how you looking now? He definitely looks like a goblin. Okay, can, can we actually just make this guy's skin green so that he does look like a goblin? Is that possible? We're going to try and goblinify this guy. Do we even have any green up in here? I don't think we do. Oh, this is a cool one. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Let's just put this on his face. Hold still. Hold still. All right. Just going to tattoo a face on your face. Oh, yeah. Get the needle right in the nostril holes. <laughs> All righty, bro. How's that looking? Just give this a bit of a shave. And beautiful. That looks so weird. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a seal or something. Looks a little bit like a seal. All right, what do we got over here? We've got some earrings. Let's put these in. Oh, yeah, they look pretty good. And maybe some cool guy glasses. Nice. Send him on his way. See you later. He's happy. They're all happy. It's the moonrise beast. Oh, my God. Oh, my. What? You're handing me the brain? Why? Okay, I guess I'll take it. I guess I'll take the brain. Look at this. Ugh. You can see the brain right there. That's so gross. She's a zombie girl. Oh my god. Why are you a zombie girl? What even happened? Are you from The Walking Dead? I'm just shaving the hair off. <laughs> there you go. There you are. Maybe we can try and complete the brain. You know what I mean? We'll make it look like there's some brain. Ugh. Oh, the knife touched the brain. Gross. Snippity snip. Snip the brain. There we go. All right, give me this. Just gonna put some more brain going on over here. All right, do we have pink? Yeah, we do. Oh, nice. Spray the eyebrows as well. The green and pink look actually looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Oh, oh, this is a good one. How do I turn the size down? I'll give her a cool tattoo, like a weird looking emoji. All right, let's put it just on this side near this bit. 
There we go. Just where we can see the actual brain. I'm just gonna go like that. Tattoo it right on there. That's cool, man. Alrighty, nice one. Cool tattoo. Let's just go like that. What do you guys reckon? You reckon that looks pretty good? I feel like we could maybe add some more. Maybe some like facial accessories. All right, let's get some glasses. What are these ones like? Eh, yeah, they look all right. They look pretty good. Oh, she's missing like a chunk of her ear. Oh, and her arm. What? What even happened? Okay, let's go for these blue hoopy earrings. Do you even have enough ear for... No, it doesn't even go on that side. Maybe we have to get another one. Oh, we can't. We can. We can put it in whatever chunk is left of the ear. Okay, she's looking pretty good. Let's give her some, like, a different color on the brain, though. Maybe, like, some spots of red. Just, like, some red, like, highlights down here. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that is looking good. It is looking good. It's a shame in this mode you can't just tattoo whatever color you want. That would be awesome. I'd do like some blood coming out of the brain or something, you know, that'd be super gross. But I think she's looking pretty good anyway. What do you guys reckon? Let me know in the comments. Rate her out of, I don't know, 25. Take the broom. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the witch lady. She's giving me her broom. Thanks. Thanks. There we go. Let's grab it. Oh yeah. Oh, she's so beautiful. Now this is what true beauty looks like. <laughs> this is the green that I wanted to paint the other guy. Okay, I'm gonna give this lady the Mr. Burns. That's what she's getting. Here we go. You guys know what the Mr. Burns looks like. It's like that super old guy haircut. Just bald at the top. You know, comes right around the sides. Let's go from like the eyebrow. Just like this. Just shaving it. Straight up shaving it with the knife. The knife thing. It looks like a cheese knife. Alrighty, lady. I'm just gonna rotate and just hold the knife still. That's the plan. All right, how's that looking? Oh, she's instantly gone from kind of woman to man. <laughs> Look at this hair. Look at this thing going on the back. Let's give her a bit more back here. There we go. With the old bubble grower. A little bit more down here. So it sort of sticks out the ears a bit. Like she might be able to fly with it. Or it's like half a helmet. Yeah, there you go. She'll be fine next time she has a motorbike crash on her broom. Oh, you're looking pretty good, lady. All right, nice. We got orange here. I reckon we should make her hair orange. Just to match her eyes and her clothes. How's she looking? Oh, she's looking good. Better get home before 12 or you turn to a pumpkin. <laughs> she looks very happy. That's what I do for my clients. I make them happy. Always make them ha Oh, Oh, she is styling. Okay, get out of here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Bye. Oh, we got this guy again. What happened to the other dude? Where's the other dude gone? So they had a Halloween character for that guy. Uh, that one. And these two. But not for Gloria or Carl. Okay. Okay, that's a shame. All right, I'm gonna give this guy the tattoo of a lifetime. Here we go. Let's just start off with this. There we go. That's a good one. And let's just go with... A little bit more cheese. There we go. This guy is going to be one cheesy boy by the time we're done. That's right. He's going to regret anything he ever did to any of those humans because he is going to be the cheese master. <laughs> Man, these things are expensive, but I don't even care because it's going to be worth it by the time I'm done with this guy. Let's get to tattooing. We've got to just start tattooing the cheese on here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this guy's barely got any lips. That's what I like about this guy. Because you can, like, tattoo right up to the edge of his lips. All right, there we go. Yes. It's always so satisfying just tattooing these guys, you know? Here we go. All right, got to be delicate around the eyeballs. Don't want to get the needle right there in the eye. This guy's name is Dracula. He likes long walks on the beach, uh, romantic comedies, and buckets and buckets of cheese. <laughs> there we go. Looking so good. All right, let's give him the old squeegee-matic and see what he looks like. Oh, yeah, dude. Yes, he looks good. Okay, I feel like we could enhance the cheese a little bit more. So let's just dial this thing back. How does this work? Oh, yeah. Eh, that doesn't really work. What if we were to do this and give him some sort of, like, panda eyes? All right. All righty, cool. Yeah, go like that. Draw that on. All right, we'll go with this one. This guy is going to look so weird. I feel like I'm kind of making SpongeBob or something. All right, let's check him out. What's he look like? <laughs> okay, he's the cheese panda. That's who he is. All right, see, cheese panda. He loves it. That's what I love about these Halloween guys. Doesn't matter what you do to them. They're always so happy. All righty, bro. 
How hairy can we get this guy? Let's go. Let's go. Mega hair fest. 2023 hair fest is happening. I'm going to give this guy some cool colors for sure. God, this guy's head is so big. It takes ages to do this. I'm almost run out. Yeah, nice one, dude. Catch zombie hand. Where'd that even go? <laughs> uh, eh. Hey, I won't catch. All right. Yeah, this guy is looking pretty hairy. He kind of looks a little bit like... Uh, what's that guy's name? Seth Rogen. Looks a little bit like Seth Rogen. All right, I reckon we go for like some blue. Yeah, this guy likes the blue. All right, and I'm gonna go from about here, just down the back here with the light blue like this. And we'll see if we can get a bit of a blue fade thing going on. Okay, all right, this is looking all right. Let's go with the darker blue at the top here like this. It's kind of a little bit more of a purple. It's looking pretty good. See if we can do some like clouds or something like that, you know? It's just some like just some nice little fluffy clouds on this guy's hair. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go, bro. Look at these this like fluffy clouds. Guy's got like sky on his beard and his facial hair. Oh, this is good. This is so pretty. Yep, I like this one. Okay, just do like a little bit of black on top. This is gonna be a hard one to do. Just like a light dusting. Okay, and then like proper black right on the top. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a sky. Alrighty, dude, your sky haircut is complete. Thank me later. Oh, it's beautiful. He loves it. The moonrise beast. And he's basically got a nighttime thing going on on his head. That's incredible. If there's any other Halloween games you guys want me to play, let me know in the comments. Catch you guys next time.